ओके सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दी अनदर न्यू वीडियो ऑफ द मॉक इंटरव्यू सो टूडे वी हैव वन वन मोर न्यू कैंडिडेट निम कोमल so i hope uh, from this interview you will come to know that some new questions regarding the java manual or something like right so i hope uh, like uh, you will watch this video till last and i guaranteed you you will definitely get some knowledge gain from this okay so let's uh, start with the mock interview uh, okay hi komal uh, so how are you i'm good sir how are you sir Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm also totally fine doing well. Okay, so Komal, we can start with your interview. Uh, so yes, Komal, uh, introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Komal Patil, and I have done my MCA from Sehkar School of Computer Studies, Solapur. And uh, after MCA, I joined uh, one organization that is Affinity Express. That mm -hmm. there, my responsibility is to check digital advert. after mm -hmm. that i joined one organization called uh, pragmasis i okay. recently my experience in uh, dynamic 365 uh, as a okay. technical consultant from okay. past two years mm -hmm. yeah as a technical consultant i have you know uh, many uh, uh, wrote the javascript wrote plugins and oob okay. uh, oob okay. means the out of box functionality of uh, their okay. uh, dynamic 365 yeah okay okay that's uh, that's good to hear so uh, like uh, you have been working from it since as you have mentioned and you have been four deal with experience in it sir okay okay so you have total four plus years of experience that is uh, just do it a second okay so that's that that's good to hear like you have total four plus years of experience in it so as you have mentioned like you have used the java scripts or something so my first question to you is like what is the difference between java and javascript can you please explain me that yes sir uh, javascript it is you know uh, it is a scripting language and okay. java is a programming language Okay. Java is a platform independent, and JavaScript we have we have used JavaScript with the HTML, CSS. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. For okay. Uh, you know the website interactive part of uh, kind of see, see for example you have a button uh, mm -hmm. on a web page and you have to you know responsive make a responsive uh, button mm -hmm. of that okay. button. So when okay. you click on button something. Will be happen is when uh, that time we use the Java. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so my next question to you is like, why Java is important in the automation testing? Because many of the tools, uh, you know, automation tools like uh, REST, REST Assured, uh, Selenium, uh, mm -hmm. Java is important. As okay. as per the survey. Uh, most of the companies prefer java and java is okay. the you know open source and uh, um, and uh, very uh, useful okay. so that's why java is that uh, is yeah okay and we need okay. for every company so that's why java yeah. is okeah so so in automation mostly we can use any any of the particular language yeah, yeah, let's yeah, suppose python, if we you can use uh, yes Uh, we we can use python or c sharp or uh, the visual studio you can also use the java but why java java is an one of the relevant and also from the so many years it is in market like right. and security point of view java is one of the good language what we can say like right okay so so my next question to you is like what is variable variable yes uh, sir uh, you can say variable is a like a container okay store a value container yeah in okay. a, a real life example you can say uh, if you want to pour a milk you have okay. some you know you want some container so okay. like that variable okay. is uh, uh, responsible to contain something okay okay so variable is nothing but it is and the piece of a memory in which we use usually used to store some information but that information it any type we can have some numeric point of view some we have some string data or something like right so that is the thing but we can call as an variable so can you please tell me like why the data type is important in the java or what data type plays an important role in java 
there are many data types in java okay string mm -hmm. uh and integer float uh, mm -hmm. double and all okay so, see, um, in real life we have to you know sometime there is a marks okay there is a, a employee name so mm -hmm. different different kinds of uh, you know uh, if i if i told the real life example to you see okay. for milk you have to you know uh, take one bowl okay, okay. Uh, for um, pain or something you have to container a uh, kind of <laughs> another container you have to uh, okay see. so mm -hmm. uh, different different kinds of data type we have to uh, use uh, it using like, like, real life yeah okay okay so basically the data types plays an important role is like as you have mentioned the variable is just an a place where which we can store the information like right yeah. but when we are storing some of the information it should have some structure like right let's suppose if i want to store an integer data like right so that's why we have to declare it with data int equals to uh, means integer a equals to 10 so they usually used to know that ts yes, boss i have stored the 10 value in that particular variable like right and that type is and the integer right yeah. so whenever we run that particular program when cursors when cursor go on that particular place to retrieve that person specific data they usually used to should know that ki yes, boss what exact data i have put over there or and then that exact data they will retrieve us from it like so in layman language i am been explaining concept in bit layman language so it will easier for you as well like right so uh, what is the main difference between primitive data type and non primitive data type uh, so yeah uh, primitive data type um, has uh, you can say um, whatsoever answer like uh, you can give like uh, it's, it's uh, yeah like some basic two difference you can give me like right okay i think so uh, primitive data type we can't you know um, convert into uh, means we cannot define the primitive data type as a array for a kind of format means okay okay convert it, huh? okay and primitive data type uh, non primitive data type is uh, against string mm -hmm. uh, string yeah right yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, primitive data type is integer and um, yeah yeah char char right. and in the, uh, no. primitive data type has uh, primitive and non primitive uh, has different that int we should uh, write small in small it right. is yeah, always yeah. Uh, yeah it is always start it is always in the lower lower case format lower. like right and the yeah. non primitive data always start in the uh, uh, capital capital yeah yeah so uh, in this way you can also tell like uh, in primitive data type there is memory is fixed one like right yeah. memory is fixed one and in non primitive data type the memory is not fixed one it's okay it, huh. yeah so in primitive data type we have some keywords or the reserve words what we can say and in non primitive data type whatsoever they are present like we have string array or object they all are called as and the identifiers okay and we also as you have mentioned it also a uh, primitive data type always start with and the lower case and the non primitive uh, data type in which their first letter is in capital and rest are in small we can also say them as and the camel case something like right if you observe the string string equals to in the string yes is bit capital first letter is capital and rest are small so likewise you can uh, say like okay so uh, my next question uh, to you is like uh, what are the identifiers can you tell me what are the identifiers any idea identifiers uh, you mean uh, public protector that is modifier yeah that is modifier i am asking you about identifier. identifiers can you give me hint sir yeah so identifier is something that we usually used to give the names to the variables or something to the classes means we usually used to give the name to the uh, classes or the variable that is nothing but is called as and the java identifiers right so okay so can you tell me uh, what are the operator in java yeah um, arithmetical operator 
लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर टर्नरी ऑपरेटर एंड या कंडीशनल ऑपरेट इक्वल टू ऑपरेटर असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर इक्वल टू ऑपरेटर कॉल्ड एज असाइनमेंट ओके ओके एंड व्हाट टू व्हाट रिमाइंडर वन या ओके ओके एंड कंडीशनल ऑपरेटर वी कैन से no no logical operator we can say logical and logical uh-huh. or okay um, and uh, assignment operator yeah it is uh, equal to operator ternary okay. operator is a uh, question mark and colon okay 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 perfect theek okay. hai so uh, can you tell me what is difference between static method and the non static method yes sir uh, static method you can uh, easily without um, creating an object you can easily mm-hmm. uh, access the static method method as mm-hmm. variable mm-hmm. without mm-hmm. Uh, creating an object of class mm mm-hmm. okay and the use of static method and static <coughs> variable is uh, the re- reusable of memory and uh, means uh, memory uses mm-hmm. and uh, uh, is easy easy of updation or modification okay 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 so uh, in uh, static and non static method you can say in such a way that the static method is and the class level method and non static method is and the instance level method what we can say like right in static method the memory allocation is takes place at a time of class loading like right and in the non non static method the memory allocation is taken place when the method is get called okay and in non static method the memory deallocation taken place when the at the time of class unloading like right something and the in non static method the memory deallocation is taken place as done after the completion of the method execution so whatsoever there we have the set of method which we are running once they have been uh, their execution or work has been get completed then memory deallocation is taken place at the same time okay okay so uh, so my next question uh, to you is like uh, uh, like what are the difference what are the looping statement plays an important role in java what is looping statement any idea uh, yeah sir looping okay. statement um, for loop while loop do while loop okay okay and for each loop they mm-hmm. are uh, playing the crucial role in uh, java programming because Uh, okay. every time you know um, if you want uh, some execution uh, again and mm-hmm. again that time okay. uh, this will, looping statement will help a lot us to us okay 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 perfect with the condition and with the uh, iteration can... of so, yeah yeah perfect so uh, can you tell me what is the difference between uh, like static variable and the local variable uh as like a uh, local variable uh, is we have to you know uh, uh, create a class object for uh, calling the ro- local variable and for okay. static variable it is uh, like when uh, it is uh, directly access from the class name mm-hmm. we we don't need to you know uh, create the object for class okay mm-hmm. uh, okay and, uh, and the static yeah. variable uh in a real life examples uh if 100 employees there and 100 mm-hmm. employees is the same department so okay. you have to you know uh, every time you af- for uh, updation and mm-hmm. for uh, uh, assigning the value of that department you have to uh, not creating uh, the object 100 times okay. that time you have to take the static uh, of department that uh, okay. variable name is as static and that is you know a good uh, program okay okay kind of good program and okay so okay so in simple words we can say like what is the difference between static and local variable the uh, the memory allocation is taken place at the time of class loading and in which the memory allocated when the 
method is get call that is one of the big difference second in static the object creation is not required means there is no need of an object creation if you want to call something from some another class or something like right there is no object creation is required but in local variable the object create uh, object okay in both of the case the object creation is not required in static variable and in a local variable point of view like right and uh, what we can say in the static variable we can access it throughout the whole class okay mm. we can access it throughout the whole class and uh, in local variable it can be executed only within that class or the constructor or we, within only that method or that constructor this is the one of the major difference what we can say the static variable is and the one of we can call them as and the permanent variable okay and in local variable we can call them as and the temporary variable what something we can call means yeah. local variable isn't a temporary variable let's suppose if if you want to use some variable which has the scope within that constructor then at that time we can use the local variable like right but most of the time we are using the non static variables only in our yeah. day to day practice like right yeah uh, so my next question to you is like what is constructor constructor is a same like a class name okay uh yeah uh we used the constructor uh, to assign the value to the variable assigning okay. the value to the variable and constructor okay. is same as the class name and uh, once you are call the uh, create means create object of class mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. time uh, the default constructor is uh, uh, evoked uh, get, get called yeah default get constructor called. is get oh. called if if you are not assigned to the variable okay okay and what are the uh, rules of the constructor can you please tell me that means there are some certain set of rules should be there when we are calling the constructor so what is that exact rules for the constructor can you tell me that um any idea uh, i know the types of con constructor it is default constructor and parameterized constructor okay Even okay we have a copy constructor but java uh, doesn't support the copy constructor Uh, okay. constructor um, the rules of constructor is uh, like i said it is uh, must have the similar name of uh, with the class name mm -hmm. uh, and uh, any uh, idea you should you should uh, create the uh, create the constructor as using class name Uh, okay. object name is equal to new keyword and the constructor okay. name okay. and the uh, so, method yeah okay 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 so my next question to you is like does constructor have return type yes or no 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 sir why no mm. no because uh, okay <laughs> okay okay it's 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 fine so uh is constructor escaped the arguments yes or no is construct is constructor can escaped arguments yes or no i think no sir okay no constructor can escape the arguments so basically this is under rules of the constructor when when we are declaring the constructor the constructor name and the class name should be same constructor can't have any particular return type in single constructor we can have the multiple constructor for the same but there is one rule again uh, name of the constructor and the class name should be same okay and constructor can't escape the particular argument like right and what is exact constructor constructor is and the specialized method as you have mentioned like right that is used at the time of an object creation okay and also it is used to initialize the particular data member or it's usually used to copy all the member of a class into the object like right 